gonna be playing American Arcadia today. Okay, hello there. Hey there, I'm Chaz Tacular, and welcome to episode 3 of American Arcadia. Let's go. Okay, folks, we are finally here. This is the Arcadia Central Station. All right. Uh, my name is Rita, and I was your tour guide today. Please have a safe trip home. We all hope to see you again really soon in Arcadia. And remember... Oh, finally. Uh, You're gonna make it. Yeah, looks like it. I'm a bit scared, to be honest. What am I gonna find out there, Angela? Oh, well, uh... The world outside is not that different. Just uh, more modern and uglier. Much of the technology you already know from here also exists out there. You know, shared cars, cleaning bots, flying drones, we have all those. We also have something like Ethernet, but with no restricted content, of course. What else? Um, we waste our lives looking at screens, but that's not too different from you guys, is it? Holy cow, if they weren't planning to kill me, I'm not sure if there is even a reason Remember, to get out of here, the way you put it. Badge at there all is times. one really good reason to get out. You've lived Please all your life me. inside a gilded cage, and for the first time, you're gonna be completely free. Yeah, that is a valid point. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so... Am I still in Arcadia? I'm, gu I'm guessing I'm guessing this is like the last stop on the way out and probably the first stop on the way in sort of situation Everything was going fairly well all things considered. I thought I was really close to getting out, but of course I didn't know about the jingle back then What is this jingle you speak of? Do you do you hear that noise by the way it sounds like like an Air raid siren in the distance or something. It's really annoying. Huh, no. no. I don't hear anything. I don't. Really? It's pretty loud. Don't pay any attention Please to it, Trevor. That you are Just get through the checkpoint and leave. Is he brainwashed? To hear something? Please remember that you are required to wear your access badge to exit through the checkpoint. This is this is fascinating. I guess it would make sense to have more Jesus, security measures. Unbearable. Please. Keep going, Trevor. We're really close. You'll be in a train outside Arcadia in a few steps. Starting to slow down there, Trevor. I'm I'm not feeling too well. Trevor? Trevor, come on. Move. <sighs> you can do it, buddy. It was a nightmare. Take the worst headache and the worst dizziness you've ever had. Smash them together, multiply them by ten, and you still wouldn't come close. Then the security Ooh. guy says to me, Next, please. But I couldn't move. And if that wasn't enough, Angela says to me in the earpiece, Trevor, Trevor, come on, move. I can't take a step. I just can't. Are you feeling all right, sir? Yes, I just need a... <sighs> security, please, come immediately. We might have a breach at gate B in lane 15. Uh-oh. And then I see a six-foot-tall guy with a menacing look come up to me and say, Subject 10392, clear text Trevor Hills. You are violating the Burbank Act. Title 2, Section 11. Unauthorized exit attempt from an enclosed or restricted area. No, 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 no. You are no, also Trevor, violating get the hell out of there now. Act. There's no use. I can't. <sighs> Listen, if you can't move forward, then go back. But you gotta move now. Trevor, do what I say, Goyo. 10392, stay right where you are. What does that Second word mean? 10392 is attempting escape. Initiate interception protocol. Interceptors, get the subject now. I couldn't believe it. Until then, interceptors were an urban legend. A high tech security force in Arcadia with a really cool sci fi code name. It all started with the infamous leaked Arcadia 6 picture, you know? That one that Walton Media has always denied to be true. The guy in the back was believed to be an interceptor. Most people just referred to him as the Tackleberry, because he looked like that guy from the Police Academy movies. You know, helmet, sunglasses, leather jacket, and all that. 
Anyway, I had worked in Walton Media for eight years, and I never saw or heard a thing about those guys. As I said, it was just an urban legend. Until now. Because the Interceptors were real. And they really looked like Tackleberry. And they were chasing Trevor, who now had to run a hundred meter dash while feeling like complete shit. 10392! <gasps> Stop running! Angela! Angela! What? I'm feeling better! Yeah, oh crap! Yeah, I'm feeling better! That's good news. <sighs> Please. 10392! <gasps> Stop running! Angela! Angela! And yeah, jump. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling better. What was that? Hey, you didn't see it now. Keep running. What? Ah! Interceptors on the tail of subject 10392. So Trevor can't physically leave Arcadia. Why do, why do these guys keep calling me a 10 3? It's 10 3 something. It's your citizen ID. But what? This is no time for questions, damn it. Just run. Get out of my way, lady. Like, would you just stand there if somebody was barreling toward you? Okay, ah, uh, frick, frick, frick. Ah! -ha! Oh, okay. I see. I see. I should put the thing up, the barriers up before he gets there. To stop the van. Get on it? Did she say get on it or get in it? Okay, okay, let's do this. That van, Trevor, now. Over that van? Oh, this way. That way. I have to go the other way. This is so tense. Okay, let's do it again. That van, Trevor, now. What do I... Where do I go? What do I do? Back to the station. Go back to the station. Back to the station? Are you crazy? Just do what I'm telling you. But if you can't physically leave because of like some weird Interceptors, something. Pursuit. Oh, this is not good. This is deluxe. Subject is heading back to the station. Interceptor unit B. Shit, they're coming for the escalators. Hey, oh, it's a good thing that window happened subject. to be open. Proceeding to intercept. Come on. Oh crap. Uh reverse it. Reverse it. Go that way. Crap. <laughs> and go that way. And now go that way. <laughs> Yes. The elevator, hurry up. Into the Entry elevator. To stop this nonsense and surrender. Back, back, back. Shit, they're coming from the what? escalator. What? Come on. The elevator, hurry up. N392, stop this nonsense and back, surrender. Back, 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 now. Back, back. Okay. Come on, Trevor. What? Was that a statue? Looks like boxes. And out to the roof. Whoa, crap. Oh. It looked more clear than it ended up being. On Swift rental car. Down the slope, down the slope. Wait, what? Jump. Woo. Holy crap, I'm on the highway. Come on, you can do it. 
What is that? Oh, that's what the camera's for. Ah, no! Go, 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 go! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh that was... Woo! Come on, Trevor. wasn't ready for this obstacle course. Come on, Trevor, you got what this. What happened back there, Angela? I, I couldn't move with that noise. I don't know, man. I wasn't expecting that. I, you, you gotta hide for a while until I come up with something. I just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Look, doesn't sound good. Idea. Angela, Blue Fountain Mall is right there. I used to spend a lot of time in there when I was a kid. Mall? Are you sure that that's a? Looks like I don't have much of a choice anyway. Yeah. Okay. We're going to the mall. Let's do this. I'm sorry. 35 mile an hour speed limit in a parking lot? Hey, help me with that door, Angela, would you? Man. Yeah, just a second. I can't exit the camera. Uh oh. Shit. Talking to lockdown, really? Oh, what happened? Oh, that's bad. Okay, I'll see you in the lobby then. Yeah, I'll, they'll tell us how to proceed. <laughs> Trevor, I need to go. I gotta find another place where I can connect and then. Don't worry, Angela. Take your time. I'll be safe in the Skyrocket Arcade. Wait, wait, wait. You plan to hide inside an arcade? Not inside the arcade. They have a covered sit down Spectrex cabinet there. That's where I plan to hide. I can play that thing for hours on just one quarter. Whatever suits you, man. I'm buying whatever you got right now. Nice. No problem. I met the Spectrex cabinet. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine in here. Okay, Trevor, just stay inside the cabinet until I'm out of here. I'll be back as soon as I... Hey, Kendra, what's up? This is a message for all Walton Media employees. Due to an unexpected breach of security, we have proceeded to activate the lockdown protocol. When called by your last name, Please come immediately to the building entrance for all your digital devices to be scanned for security reasons. Thank Can you. you believe it? Yeah, someone's escaping from Arcadia. That's that's really crazy. And an insider is helping him, one of us. They get what? the chance to work for Walton Media in the greatest achievement that has ever happened in entertainment. And they want to boycott it because why? Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Right. I mean, the other things Walton did are okay, but between you and me, Angela, black and white movies, cartoons for kids, but American Arcadia, there is nothing like it. Others have tried to replicate it to create something like this. They got reality shows instead, but this is no reality show, Angela. American Arcadia is the most advanced sociological experiment ever conducted. It has changed the way we perceive society and even... <laughs> is everything okay? Huh? Uh, yes, it's... <sighs> I really have to get going, Kendra. I hope everything is solved by tomorrow morning, you know, right? Okay, see ya! Dios, callate la boca ya! She was repeating the same corporate bullshit she gave me on the first day on the 21st floor. Okay, preserve my admin permissions. Preserve my admin permissions. Jesus H. Christ, how am I going to do that? All cloud services will be monitored, so I can't upload it to the cloud. Okay, uh, what else then? Come on, come on, come on, Angela, think. Gotta come up with something. And suddenly, that Architects of Tomorrow episode just pops into my head. Steganography. A word that comes from combining the Greek term steganos, which means covered or hidden, and graphos, which means writing. Let's take a look at this image behind me. You probably won't distinguish anything, but if we see the image through a red lens, everything in it suddenly makes sense. And that's what steganography basically is. Concealing a message within another message, or, as we've just seen, an image in another image. There are many examples of how to hide a code in an image, a text, or even a song. 
Who knows? Maybe this song has a secret message encoded in it, too. Because, as you can see, steganography is science. And as we know, science always finds a way. If you have a secret and don't want to reveal it, steganography can be used to conceal it. And that's the lesson we've learned today, because science always finds a way. I got it. I need to convert my admin permissions into hexadecimal code and then hide it in a non-digital source. A sequence of images. Hmm. Any VHS tape will do the trick. Okay, that's a little over my head. Um, yeah. Also, I've already forgotten what was on her phone back in the elevator, so... Hopefully you guys remember. Ooh, I can go in here. Okay, so I just gotta... So I've got until my name is called to just hang out. Uh, I need a VHS tape. So if I were a VHS tape, where would I be hiding? In a 2023 office building. Hmm. There's a recording studio right off the main lobby? That's something. Okay. Singles mixer. Steve Just's Path to Victory and Joy de Vivian. Eh. Okay, studio back that way. Video editing. Storage. This is the video editing room. I gotta get in there to encrypt my cell phone data. Okay. The first two letters in our ID indicate our first and last names. Mine is A.S. They're calling the S's that now. Forever ED ago. 21 blah, blah must be long gone for sure. Okay, so how do I get through here? Whoa, ZW. <laughs> I bet this guy will be the last exit the building. Okay, interesting. Yeah, every once in a while it takes away my camera control from me and makes me look somewhere. Maybe he's in the cafeteria, waiting to be called. So... That's what my annoyed look was about. All right, to the cafeteria. Okay, so we got the storage room, the video editing room, and the studio back in the back. The lobby, exit, cafeteria uh, over on the side. There must be a way to enter the editing room from the other side. Well, it looks like there's not a door through the storage room, so I have to go through the studio. CD. Uh, who is this guy? I barely know any employees on the first floor. It doesn't matter anyway. This guy's last name begins with a D. I'm sure he's not in the building anymore. Okay. So, how do I get through? <laughs> Let me in! Okay. What? Could I interact with this computer back here? No, no, no. Okay, so she specifically mentioned that guy possibly waiting in the cafeteria. So I'm gonna go to the cafeteria. We're gonna see if we can find him. Good, good. And then now I need to find Zeus Washington, Zeke Wasabi, or whatever this guy is, and clone his ID. Fernando okay. Salcedo. I need to clone his ID. That looks like it might be him. This is not hey. the ZW guy I saw in the picture. Oh. Well. Could have fooled me. Is this him? This guy doesn't look like the guy in the ZW picture. I'm running out of white guys. You? There he is. I'm sure he's the storage room guy. There we go. There he is. So. I'm sure he's the storage room guy. Oh, this is Let easy. Me clone your ID real quick. And it's done. I'm not proud about doing this to a Walton Media coworker, but I really needed your credentials. Zazu, Waluigi. Good thing I have excellent hacksaw skills. 
You're probably gonna call my name like like as soon as I finish my task or like right before it's gonna be like right in the nick of time kind of thing and feel it coming How do I get to the video room whoever's in charge of keeping this area clear is doing an awful job uh huh okay let's uh okay so we got a maze I guess. Jeez, this looks like a damn maze, and I hate mazes. Oh, let's try going under here. Seymour, 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 what Seymour. Seymour. Very funny. Who's the wise ass? Oh, I'm. Oh, I hate I'm sorry. This I, I hate uh, squeezing into tight spaces. <laughs> This is a small recording studio for AA short stories and things like that. Not for the live feeds, of course. Oh. Lady Vivian would never lower herself to come down from her spire penthouse to record in here. Oh, I was about to, I was about to say this is probably where Vivian recorded those uh, little bits and bobs. But apparently not. Okay, why why did it have VHS tapes in here? Okay. This Comet VHS will do the trick. Mira, oh. está en Because they're like the old, um, like an old archive. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, I'm glad that camera's not following me. Okay, so insert tape. Aha. Yes. Let's get down to business. Uh -huh. The blue screen shows the Comet Tape digital data. Okay. And the large monitor displays the admin permissions on my cell phone, which I need to hide. So I need to find the matching cell strings on both screens and then run a macro to hide my data inside the VHS tape. So click instructions. Click on a cell, drag to select, release. Select strings of two, th three, or four cells to encode the phone data. Okay, well that's all the same. That's the same. Okay. So now 50, 39, 5, C, 8, D. Ina Sokolova. Got Please exit through the lobby door. those. Hold up. Where's 5B? Okay, there's 5B, so I guess 32 is next. Can't do that. Uh, can I do that? Okay, I can do that. No, what the heck? Oh, okay, it's like, um... It's like one of those puzzles. Can't remember what it's called, but, um... Crap. Okay, so now I gotta go to BD, I think. BDCE? There we go, okay, okay. Now 7D... No, E4. 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 8-0. E4, C5. What? Oh, no. Okay. It goes straight across. That'll be the last string, I think. So, 17. Does not go straight to FB. Oh, 1747. FB, C5, E4, 80. Yes, yes, Boom. yes, yes. I got it. Now I'll run a macro to automatize the process and encrypt all my data into the VHS tape. Now I can totally wipe everything for my cell. See you at home, admin permission. Is she following me or what? What a pain in the ass. What are you doing in here, Angela? Oh, yes, Kendra. Nothing, I'm leaving. And what are you carrying there? Angela Solano, please. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. Oh, sorry, they're calling me. I have to go. Talk to you later, okay? That was close. Angela Solano, please. She disappeared. Yep. Are you the one calling me? Hey, Angela. ¿Qué pasó? What took you so long? Ah, oh, I had to finish something, Joe. 
Es mi turno, ¿verdad? Bueno, claro que es tu turno. I call you twice. Put your phone in there and just go home, for Christ's sake. Okay, looks like you're good to go, Angela. Everything is clean. Hey, pero, what's up with the VHS tape, eh? You have all those comet shorts on the W Max platforms. Ah, well, doblaje puertorriqueño original. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's right. I forgot they redubbed it. A rights dispute with the voice actor, wasn't it? Yes. Wow, yeah, that's right, Joe. <laughs> bueno, te veo el lunes, ¿sí? Of course. Get some rest and see you next Monday, Angela. All right. And then I went home to have a heart attack, which took me a while since I lived in the far side of Walton employee housing facilities. In fact, I thought about moving closer to the dome for the whole Trevor operation. But come to think of it, living so far away saved me a lot of trouble later. But I digress. The thing is, I finally got to my apartment. All right. Welcome home, Angela Solano. <sighs> At last. Now I need to convert the video info back to code again to recover my admin permissions. And check on Trevor, too. Are you kidding me? Kovacs, this is number six. Did you manage to preserve your admin permissions? Shut up! I stuck to the plan. I did everything you told me. And you... What the hell happened at the checkpoint? The jingle happened. The jingle? What? What? What on earth is the jingle? Something Kovacs mentioned a long time ago. The real Arpad Kovacs. Mr. Kovacs, were the discrepancies between you and Don Walton the main reason for your departure from Walton Media? Kind of. Donald and the board of directors were interested in developing methods to make it physically impossible for the Arcadians to leave the city. They even wanted to experiment with my Visiorama system for their realignment techniques, as they called them, which I categorically refused to let them do. Probably that refusal had something to do with my departure from the company. What did these techniques consist of? The most popular was a low-frequency sound to generate reverse aversion in the Arcadians. They called it the jingle. Excuse me, Mr. Kovacs. But that sounds a little bit like science fiction to me. And even if it were possible, wouldn't that be illegal? With the Burbank Act? I doubt it. Otherwise, how do you explain that nobody has left the city since the Arcadia 6 breakout? How come you guys didn't know about the jingle? Because it did not exist when we got out. <sighs> Damn it. Oh. If Trevor has that jingle thing in his head how are we going to get him out remember i asked you to preserve your admin permissions you did that right you are going to need them to operate one of those rental cars that some tourists use rental car you mean like a swift yes now get him on the road in one of those cars and as soon as trevor hears that noise again i take control of the car and get him across it right that is it who easier said than done but i'll try my best good luck kovacs Okay, interesting. So that cat is freaky as heck. Cool. My lucky dice. Hey, hey. Very nice. It's like a helium. Interesting. Oh! The classic 1985 Goblins and Gravestones basic rule set. Nice goblins and gravestones. Love it. Oh, the complete DPD series. Cop drama meets urban fantasy. Huh. Divergent Police Department. Okay. My collection of masks of the Golden Century comics. <laughs> All 212 issues. It doesn't look like 212 issues. Although, granted, I've got, like, the entire Walking Dead back there in, like, uh, volume books. So, I don't know how many issues it is, but it's 32 volumes. The Evolution of Cooperation by Robert Axelrod. Mm hmm. 
That looks like an old gaming system. Trevor Hill's escape plan. Our Trevor escape master plan. Co-developed with Breakout itself. So Trevor gets out of INAC and rides the monorail into the Grand Cygnus Hotel. Can't draw birds. Trevor wears the badge. Bye. Gets through the central station. See ya. And ta-da! Trevor's free. Yeah. Okay. That did not work out. The Arcadia Stage Technician Manual. Oh. When I started working at AA, I was expecting a wiki, not a medieval tome. I spent a fortune on the scratching post, but Tally is more interested in simple cardboard boxes. Is that Tally? Is this a living animal? I can't move around the house without pampering her. I thought that was an animatronic. Okay. That's the officially the creepiest cat I think I've ever seen in my life. It would totally be wandering around the apartment and trying to annoy me. After I was moved to the 21st floor to work in AA, Breakout contacted me and handed me this pamphlet. Did you know there are 23,414 people unjustly imprisoned on U.S. soil? You can make a difference. You can do more. Join the Breakout Initiative today. Oh, hey, there's a QR code and a website. This might be worth visiting later. Hey, this is Editor Chaz here. The two websites don't actually go anywhere, but the QR code goes to outbluegames.com, which is the website for the publisher out of the Blue Games. One of these days, I will get around to tidying up my apartment. I swear it. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. I pizza. picked the wrong week to stop eating junk food. Tango pizza? Oh. My brain, my brain thought I was eating mango pizza for a second there, and I was like, that is interesting. Breakout sent me this dossier about what was really happening inside Arcadia. It was revealing. Poor Gus Rainey. He's probably pushing up daisies now. Uh, urgent update. Edge travel grant situation. Agent Kovacs. We have uncovered new information regarding a scheme Walton Media has implemented in American Arcadia. It is crucial that you understand the specifics of this new development called the Edge Travel Grant. Edge Travel Grant is a deceptive program devised by Walton Media to further manipulate the Arcadia-born citizens. Under the guise of a scholarship, the grant is being assigned to the least popular citizens in, of Arcadia. This results in their removal from the city, effectively eliminating them from the show. Furthermore, once individuals are removed from the city, they are never seen or heard from again, neither inside or outside the show. We fear that Walton Media might have crossed an even worse boundary than before. So far, four individuals have been targeted and removed through the Edge Travel Grant initiative. We have reason to believe that a fifth citizen, Augustus Rainey, is next in line to be removed. Unfortunately, it is too late for Mr. Rainey, as his removal is scheduled for tomorrow. But our calculations, based on popularity ratings and track cam review rate, Radies points to Trevor Hills as the subsequent target. As you may know, Hills is in your assigned citizen network. Your mission is now focused on preventing Trevor Hills from falling victim to the Edge Travel Grant scheme. We trust your skills and resourcefulness to navigate this challenge and protect Trevor while working to expose Walton Media's deceitful actions. Further instructions and support will be provided as needed. Good luck, Agent Kovacs. Breakout. That's, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so we don't know for sure that they're being killed, but sure looks that way. Okay, so am I supposed to... Okay, what am I doing right now? I look so happy in this picture of my first day in Walton Media. Hmm. Ah, ignorance is bliss. Okay, so she got radicalized after getting the job. Our Pad Kovacs' autobiography. No rational explanation. A strictly forbidden read according to all Walton Media employee regulations. Fascinating. Okay. What do we got here? Follow Trevor Hill's cam. Just raining too late for him. Get inside. 
big reveal video popularity avoid the travel agents okay so this was her like brainstorming session on how the breakout was gonna go heck Kendra how to explain everything to Trevor plan B plan C plan Z I've exhausted every evil plan in my filing cabinet from A to Y A to Y yeah, H-O-Y, you know, the alphabet. What about Z? Z? Disable Trevor's track cam. Trevor sees himself on the TV. Uh-huh. Okay. Cool. So what am I doing right now? I've totally forgotten what I'm doing. Picture with Dylan and Sophia. <laughs> we RPG'd through our UCF college days. <laughs> my cousin Barbara and my mom. Los Santos de Jalisco versus Las Momias de Guanajuato. Uh -huh. My God, how I love Mexican B movies. Okay, but like seriously, what am I doing? <laughs> if I keep up this crappy high sugar diet, I should be able to develop type two diabetes in. In no time. So I can't get on my computer. My home computer. Can I turn it on? My home computer. Wait, I just happen to have a VHS player just sitting here? What? What? What kind of woman is this? Oh wow, I'm in. Go. Okay, one second. <laughs> yeah, TCH is back on top, baby. TCH. <laughs> My high score initials. TCH. Trevor Clarence Hills. <laughs> Your middle name is Clarence? Yes, ma'am. Like the angel in It's a Wonderful Life. Dear George, remember, no man is a failure who has friends. <laughs> Fine, Trevor Clarence. Listen, we're going to... Wait, wait, are, are you sure nobody's looking for me in here? You're completely unknown in this city. Let's take advantage of that, shall we? Famous last words. Uh-oh. That's not good. My fellow citizens, please pay close attention to the man in this picture. This is 28-year-old Trevor Hills. What on earth? A resident of the Point Siena Drive District. This man is responsible for a serious incident that occurred today at 4.30 p.m. in the Arcadia Central Station. Lie number one. The serious incident in the Arcadia Central Station was me running for my life. Hills is a severely unstable individual and may represent a threat not only to himself, but to every other citizen of or visitor to Arcadia. Lie number two. I'm not severely unstable, or, or at least I wasn't unstable at that time. And look at me, for God's sake, who could I possibly represent a threat to? If you see this individual, please immediately report him to local authorities. We wouldn't resort to these extreme measures if it weren't absolutely necessary. But our priority is to ensure the well-being and safety of everyone in Arcadia. <laughs> well, and that makes three lies in a row. She couldn't care less about our safety. That was exactly the reason why I was running. Vivian has declared that she made that statement to, and I quote, ensure Mr. Hill's physical well-being. Oh, of course. She described me as if I were the next Jack the Ripper to ensure my physical well-being. Give me a break. I'm Arcadia's public enemy number one! Well... What do I do now? For now, make sure you're not seen. Damn, it's the Beastie Boys again. They burp, burp, burp. The interceptors. To get that one picked up... Trying to make it to the escalator. Wait, can I, like, hide here? I'm gonna try hiding here for a little bit. So Trevor needs to get himself a change of clothes. And maybe a good shave and like a haircut but based on the interview footage and stuff I don't think that's gonna happen and 
feel for it. Damn, it's the Beastie Boys again. They've sent the Interceptor. What did I do to that horrible woman? She hates my guts. I told you evil bitch suited her better. Thanks, John. Right there. It's Trevor Hills. Send the drone. Hey. Oh. Wait, what? You get me so fast. Okay. So I need to just keep on the move. What? Okay, let's try this again. Stop the elevator. So, as long as I'm hiding here, they can't see me. Ah, okay, okay. Stop it there, and then I run by. There we go. Come on, Trevor. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Arcadia Adams. Perfect. Let's uh, slip into these uh, fitting rooms. Grab those clothes, Trevor. Yep. Hey, you look just like Steven Spielberg. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Do you think this will do the trick? Let's hope so. He doesn't know who Steven Spielberg is? That is a crying shame. This man needs to get freedom so he can go watch Jurassic Park, Hook, all of the other great movies that I'm not thinking of off the top of my head. Saving Private Ryan. I'm not really sure that would be Trevor's speed. Switch off the security. And walk right by the Beastie Boys. Say, isn't that nah? Doesn't fit the description. Uh, that guy looks like Steven Spielberg. <laughs> good, good. Nobody is paying attention to you now. Whew, that's a relief. Okay, Angela. What's the plan now? Oh, right. Yeah. I Aren't we already at sea? Whatever. We need to get you into a rental car. Rental car? You mean like a Swift? You know I won't be able to drive if I hear those noises, right? Don't worry about it. As soon as you hear them, just let me know and I'll do the driving. Remotely. And what about after that? You slip through the dome's exit and congratulations, you're a free man. The dome? What on earth is the dome? Oh, wait, let me guess. I'm about to discover another one of Arcadia's intricate lies, right? Yep. Sort of. Your attention, please. This is a message from Arcadia Security Forces. We believe the fugitive Trevor Hills may be. Dude, just keep walking. Oh, man. This building is a complete lockdown. Refrain from leaving the Blue Fountain Mall until further notice. Thank you. Oh boy. This constant jumping from the frying pan into the fire is exhausting. Get inside the parking garage, Trevor. I'll figure something out. Oh, crap. Oh, look! They have a droid docking station there. I know I'm always asking, what is that? But what is that? A docking station allows a qualified stage technician with admin permissions to control and or manipulate whatever automated personnel is attached to it. Now I can control that droid. Would have been enough for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, oh, that's weird. That feels weird. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't too bad. All right. Charging this status. Is Swift's car pickup area. Look at the charge status screen. We need a full battery to get to the edge of the dome. Looks like the one okay. in the top right seems to be the only one with a full battery. Good. Then take that one and let's get the hell out of here. All right. So the top right. That's the one I want. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that, that car one right the there. What? What? Something wrong with that red car? It's not a red car, Angela. It's a Sunlight Chrome Rush 166M. 
The most perfect work of engineering ever designed. And my favorite car. I don't know, man. All cars look alike to me. Uh, stay there while I bring your perfect work of engineering to you. Huh. Okay. So I just move that one there. How do I get this one out of the way? Move this, I guess? Wait. Can I fit two on there at the same time? Does not look like it. Can I fit two on there at the same time? Does not look like it. Okay, so I can't... Okay, so I need to move you here. And I need to move you here. Somehow. So, and I need to get you up here. So I need to figure out a way to get this past this. Get it down there. That does go up higher. Oh! Angela, didn't you say this car didn't have enough battery to reach the dome? I know, I know, I know, I know, but I need to... Let me handle this, okay? Yep. Don't you worry, Trevor. Gonna get you out of here shortly. There we go. Look at that. And boom. Oh my, look at this sweet ride. Shining aerodynamic lines. A masterpiece of craftsmanship that combines- I hate to interrupt your beautiful love story with an inanimate object, but we'd better get a move on. Sheesh, fine. Let's get go. Uh, and Yes? Can you tell me a little about that dome you mentioned earlier? Oh, yeah. That. Probably getting a video. Live from the it. Arcadia Dome, I'm your host, Vivian Walton. And this is American Arcadia. Whew, oh my, oh my. Looks like a storm is gathering. And no, I'm not talking about the three-day blizzard that the weathermen have predicted. Here in Arcadia, we're safe from all of that inside our precious weather-controlling dome. Thanks for that, Grandpa Elijah. What I'm talking about is something that some of you Tiffanyers might already know. If you were one of the 2.6 million viewers who yesterday watched the passionate stolen kiss between supermodel Tiffany Amber Gaines and... Oh boy, Steve Just's best friend, Logan Krakowski. I guess that explains the argument they had last Sunday during the Adams game, huh? My Nasty Remark of the Week award goes to user AppleSphinx91, who posted, No wonder why Tiffany broke up with him. There's only one person Steve Just could actually fall in love with, and that is himself. Woohoo, that burns! The polls are on fire. 34% believe Tiffany had every reason to give Steve the boot. But look at this. 58% and rising are in favor of the Tiffany Logan romance. Log in to your AA Live app now and let us know your thoughts. But we can't forget our loyal justifiers who are supporting their idol Steve Just and think that Tiffany and Logan's relationship is simply going nowhere. Okay, well, that seems like a good place to leave it off. Thank you for watching this third episode of American Arcadia. If you liked what you saw, please drop a drop a little little All right, so thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please drop a like down below, and uh, please write something in the comments to let me know, uh, you know, whatever you're thinking about. I guess. Drop a comment to let me know how I'm doing, or, you know, if you just want to be a troll or whatever, that's fine too. I don't care. Please subscribe if you want to see what happens next in American Arcadia. Thanks for watching.